Hey up and good morning to you. Right, it is time to check out on my Airbnb. I am furiously packing everything at the moment, tidying up. Probably one of my least favourite things to do, my least favourite times, is the, the kind of half hour, hour before you have to check out of an Airbnb. I always get nervous. Do I pack it? If I pack it, is it, you know, shutting the door for the last time, leaving the keys. It's not an experience I enjoy, but I tell you what I have enjoyed. I've enjoyed this vlog. I've enjoyed being back in Bristol. It's been a great couple of days. I feel like I, you know, I did Kissinger proud. It's been brilliant to see my mates. And it feels fantastic to be vlogging again. I'm getting right back into it. Um, I'm going to leave this vlog here. I'm going to end this one. Uh, but I will be starting another one, just like with the last one. Because, yeah, I'm getting right back into it. Massive thank you to all of you for watching. For your, hopefully some kind words and stuff about um, Kissinger. I know you guys liked him too. Um, yeah, I'll be back with you soon. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like. If you didn't, please do the dis uh, leave a dislike. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you soon. CBBC has now got a brand new McDonald's app, which means you can invent your very own McDonald's meals using loads of different things like bacon, hash browns, McMuffins, chicken nuggets, you name it. You can make whatever you wish. Just go to bbc.co.uk slash cbbc and download the app. And speaking of food, coming up next, it's more Callum's Corner. And this time, Cooking with Callum is in the spotlight. Sean the Sheep, weekdays at 4.20, CBBC on BBC One. Hey yo, and welcome to Callum's Corner, welcome to Cooking with Callum. Today I am going to provide you with an instructional guide to make the perfect full English breakfast. Uh, it's been requested by one of my followers on Twitter, and I'm happy to provide you with this information. I'm an excellent cook, um, and this is my personal area of expertise. Now, I've decided to do it today for two reasons. Number one, Christmas is fast approaching, and in my opinion, the best way to start Christmas Day is with a full English breakfast. It will tide you through uh, till Christmas dinner. You only need to cook two meals that way. Uh, and number two, um, I haven't had the best night's sleep. I've woken up very early. Well, I've been woken up by builders down my road this morning, and it's it's, um, a full English is just a great revitalizer. It will lift your spirits, it will lift your senses, and it will boost your body. So we're going to do it today. Um, let's go to the co-op, let's get the ingredients, and then we get cooking. Bacon and sausage and beans and egg. I can see your breakfast. Okay, all the ingredients have been purchased, and I'll give you a proper tour of them now. Uh, it felt a bit weird vlogging in the co-op. It almost feels sacrilegious to me. I guess it's the way a Christian would feel if they kind of pulled out their mobile phone and started vlogging in the church. But yeah, here we go. Full ingredient tour. So, hash browns, absolutely essential. Quite small, the ones in the co-op, but just have five or six of them. That'll be fine. Mushrooms, I mean, for me, I don't like them. I think they're slimy little spasmoids. And along with the tomato, it's kind of like a salad item, which I don't really feel like it has a place in a full English. But, you know, mom's going to be eating as well. So, um, and I know that some people like it. So I will cook them just for you guys and mom. Uh, bacon, good quality bacon is a absolute must. Uh, I've gone for the air dry cured smoked uh, bacon rashers. I do prefer the smoked uh, two packs of that because I bloody love bacon. Uh, sausages, for me, it's a little chip allowances from mom. Uh, well, she does prefer a thicker sausage. Um, as do I of an evening if it's with mashed potato, but in the mornings, uh, I do like the little chip allowances. And unfortunately, I can't get the Richmond skinless ones in my local co op. So, yeah, we're with these ones now. But they're lovely. They are lovely. Uh, beans, absolutely essential. Lure pack, you're going to want real butter on your toast. And finally, you probably, well, I do, want some orange juice with our breakfast. And I'd encourage you to do the same. You know, get one of your five a day. Um, and also, if you're having the salad items, two or three of your five a day just in the breakfast. So it doesn't have to be unhealthy. Right, let's get cooking. 